skin wasn't moisturized, I would crack apart and it would bleed and it would just be very painful. I do have a skin condition that's very real, but I don't want it to be the focus of everything that I do. I don't see myself as a victim, but a victor. Today, I am shooting for Glamour Magazine, and this is the first time I will be producing a shoot on my own. My skin hates this weather. <laughs> I have a skin condition called lamellar ichthyosis and it comes from an abnormal chromosome gene. And essentially, I didn't shed my last layer of skin when I was born. So every 10 to 12 days, my body does that. Now, if I didn't take my medicine, my skin would kind of get really thick um, and painful, but eventually it would begin to shed all over again because the medicine stays in my bloodstream for a really long time. I use Aquaphor on my skin mostly because it helps protect it um, and it keeps it moisturized. If my skin wasn't moisturized, I would crack apart and it would bleed and it would just be very painful. So it kind of helps me out. With ichthyosis, I don't sweat at all, so I'm at risk for heat stroke. So I try and stay in climate controlled areas so that I can prevent anything like that happening. I was diagnosed with my condition when I was a small child. From kindergarten to sixth grade, my mom would come in on the first day of school and she'd talk to the students about my condition, how it isn't contagious, give everybody the facts that they need to be informed, including the teachers as well. The response was like silence, but I think they heard. Now whether they decided to be empathetic or understanding is something else, but I know that she was heard. She'd even like pull my arm up and, you know, demonstrate, just really make it an interactive experience so that the children could truly understand what I go through. I am so glad my mom did that. She was teaching them, but it was also teaching me. It was affirming something within me. Every time I'd hear, you know, my child can do everything that you guys could do. My child is normal. I realized I'm normal and like not anybody else's definition of normal, but just normal. So I'm really grateful for that. I opened my high school yearbook and I noticed a comment from a classmate. I was talking about how much I make her laugh and smile and she put, P.S. you need to model. And like I looked at it and it looked at me and I was like, this could work, this could work. Um, so I decided to get together with somebody and shoot some digitals, basic digitals to submit to agencies and the rest is kind of history. So today I am shooting for Glamour Magazine and this is the first time I will be producing a shoot on my own. I have a team of creatives that are there to help me bring my vision to life, so that's really, really good. Hi. But this is new, it's different. Okay, so this is the space. Hello. This is hey. Sophie. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Hey. The look I'm going for for today's shoot is really 70s. I am in love with everything about the 70s. Right yeah, there. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one? No, right beside the, it. Oh, this Checker. one. Yeah. Um, just everything about it personifies my personality. So I thought that would be a good touch. Ooh, and it looks like a of her skin is what is really interesting to me and it, it shows up really beautifully on camera. There's so much to look at. I love that one. I thought today's shoot went really well. I love the atmosphere and I liked all the cool pieces I got to wear. I felt really like cool. <laughs> um, and I'm excited for everybody else to see it as well. 
I'm able to use my platform as a way to raise awareness and it's something that's near and dear to my heart as well. There has been so much love shown to me ever since I got into modeling from people with the same condition as me and it genuinely blew my mind. I've never been a person to look at myself like a victim but more as a victor. I'm proud to be me. I really am. Like, if I think about it, I can't even imagine who I'd be if I didn't have my skin condition. I think I'd be like, uncool. <laughs> I'd like everyone watching this to be bold and courageous and always push past limitations because normally that's when the magic 